Hello and welcome to Prism Business War Games overview of the most strategic framework. And in the video, we'll do a quick overview of the mission, objective, strategy, and tactics, or most, framework. And we'll also give you an example of how you'd use it. To successfully run a company, you need to know both where you currently are, the as-is condition of the company, and where it is that you're trying to go, the to be. And only then, with those two points defined, can you actually fill the gap between the two. And as you start analyzing the as-is condition of the business, you can use a SWOT analysis, which you've probably heard of. It's a simple tool to help you assess your current as-is condition. And just to review it, it's um, SWOT, which stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. The strengths and weaknesses of a company are internal, whereas the opportunities and threats typically are thought of as external. And this is really where success for a company starts. Companies that identify the best opportunities or know what weaknesses they need to correct, and then they execute strategies that capitalize on the opportunities or they fix those weaknesses, those companies ultimately perform better. Now, after you've assessed your current condition using the SWOT tool, you need to think about where you go from here. So a mission and strategies really help you focus your scarce resources. And a clear strategy can tell you a lot about your business. You know, cash, skills, people, these are all very scarce resources at a company. And the key is you have to have all the, the capital and all the hours and all the effort at an organization focus on trying to achieve the same things. And when you're trying to run a company, it does get challenging. You have markets and customers that are changing and evolving, competitors circling in for the kill, economic threats, et cetera. So uh, in general, that mission and strategies can help you focus those scarce resources. So here's a simple framework called MOST that can help you define the 2B state of your company. And MOST stands for Mission, Objectives, Strategies, and Tactics. You know, missions are longer term. They talk about the core purpose, the core values, the reason for existence of the company, whereas tactics are shorter term. So objectives, the O in MOST, Support the mission to find metrics that can be achieved along the way to achieving the mission. And strategies, the S in most, are how you accomplish the objectives that support the mission. And then, as mentioned, tactics are day-to-day -day activities along the way that bring those strategies to life. Here's a sample most for a hypothetical auto company. It's just one that we made up, and we put it into a tree diagram. And I think a, a key point is that, again, a mission is very broad, but points the organization in a specific direction, and everything else follows and aligns from there. So here's a mission. Offer the best cars, it's an automotive company, with the best features to the most discerning customers seeking a complete transportation solution. It's kind of high level. You know, we don't know everything about the company that we probably want to know if we're going to run it, but it points us in a direction. It gives us a, a vision of what this company is all about. Not just any cars, but the best cars with the best features. Not just to any customer out there, but discerning customers. So we're starting to get a feel with this mission statement of what this company is all about and what markets they're going after, discerning customers, not just any customer, and what the, the future of this company could hold. So now let's round it out and start talking about the O in most objectives. So here's one around growth. Become the premier car manufacturer, not just again in any segment of the market, but to discerning customers. So that's a very specific objective that supports that rather broad, but um, compelling mission, service. If we're gonna fulfill that mission, we need to have excellent service all the way through purchase and trade-in, through the lifetime of that customer owning that car. Technology, again, a supporting objective for the mission, to offer the safest and most comfortable cars available. Another automotive company might have a different set of objectives, but for this company, these objectives seem to support well the mission. And let's even get quantitative, 20% growth in a specific segment of the market, high income customers. This company is specifically gearing its products toward. And here's even some timing. By the year 2018, we want to achieve this 20% growth metric. 
dealer CSI customer satisfaction on a 100 point scale of 80 within three years. Another quantitative metric supporting the objective of service, technology, safety and interior on a scale of one to 10, let's say. Want to have a level of eight on all cars, which is fairly high on the, the scale, one to 10. Want to be an eight on all cars by the year 2020. So again, we're getting very specific and quantitative with our objectives. Now, if we talk about strategies, we want a constant stream of luxury cars and family cars that would appeal to the segment that we're talking about, discerning customers in the marketplace. That's what our company is all about. We have to train our dealerships to, to have that excellent service. Again, as an objective, we have to share the success, have a partnership with our dealerships. And for the technology objective, some strategies would be to invest in our competencies as a company and to incorporate that greater technological skill and capability into the vehicles as we go forward. So again, everything within this kind of tree diagram is supporting the mission. And to close, as you do a most analysis, remember that the idea is not to produce a perfect plan, but to direct the activities of the organization toward a goal. It's not an end in itself. Planning is about establishing targets and goals and guiding the efforts of the company. Okay, that's a quick overview of the most strategic framework. And if you'd like to try doing a most exercise yourself, you can download a worksheet from this section of our website. And if you'd like to take the next step, you can contact us at this email address to find out more about PRISM's courses and business simulations. Thanks a lot for watching.